that really was something special. It was something special. I mean, you look back to the first half, the Vols couldn't find the end zone. I mean, they had several opportunities. It got down deep in Indiana territory three different times in the first half. I couldn't find the end zone. Finally, late in the game, they did it twice, like you said, in 30 seconds, and it was a party here at the stadium. And then I'm looking up in the stands during that fourth quarter, nail-biting time for the, for the Big Orange faithful. And then afterwards, what a scene just outside. The fans, euphoric. Wait, a sea of orange waiting on the team to and arrive to the bus. They didn't want to leave either. The the security guards were like, we got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. And the fans were not moving. They weren't about to budge. So much orange here inside the stadium. And they were rewarded in the end. There were about 60,000 fans total. I would say, correct me if I'm wrong, about 40,000 of those were from Tennessee. Oh, without question. And, and there, was a, there was a specific time late in the game when Tennessee was making that comeback later in the game where it kind of felt like Neyland in here. Make no mistake, not 100,000 fans in here, but it kind of, it was loud. It felt like a home game. Neyland Southeast, maybe? We'll call it that. And afterwards, it was head coach Jeremy Pruitt who wins his first game, his first bowl game, that is, as a head coach.